Great names in British history. You will hear some great names in British history. As you listen, write down the years of their birth and death in the correct column. Henry VIII was born in Greenwich Palace in London in 1491. He married six times and had six wives. He died in 1547. Elizabeth I was the daughter of Henry VIII, and she was born in 1533. The same place as Henry the Eighth. She was a very popular and strong queen. During her reign, England became very important in European politics, in commerce, and the arts. She died in 1603. She never got married. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford in 1564. By 1603, the year when Queen Elizabeth I died, Shakespeare was already the leading poet and dramatist of his time. He continued to write for the next ten years, but in 1616 he finally stopped writing and went to live in Stratford, where he died in the same year. Queen Victoria was born in London in 1819. And died in 1901. Sir Winston Churchill was born in Blenheim Palace in 1874, and died in Great names in British history. You will hear some great names in British history. As you listen, write down the years of their birth and death in the correct column. Henry the Eighth was born in Greenwich Palace in London in 1491. He married six times and had six wives. He died in 1547. Elizabeth I was the daughter of Henry VIII, and she was born in 1533, the same place as Henry VIII. She was a very popular and strong queen. During her reign, England became very important in European politics, in commerce, and the arts. She died in 1603. She never got married. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford in 1564. By 1603, the year when Queen Elizabeth I died, Shakespeare was already the leading poet and dramatist of his time. He continued to write for the next ten years, but in 1616 
he finally stopped writing and went to live in Stratford, where he died in the same year. Queen Victoria was born in London in 1819 and died in 1901. Sir Winston Churchill was born in Blenheim Palace in 1874 and died in 1965. When does school start? Listen to the tape and tick the correct answer. 1. When does your mother arrive? Tuesday, 14th of May. 2. When are you going on holidays? The 25th of March. 3. When do the exams begin? The 21st of June. 4. When does school start? 5th of July. 5. When are you going to move into the new house? Next Monday, 8th of February. 6. When does the art museum open? I think it is on the 4th of September. 7. When are you leaving? 30th of April. 8. Here is an interesting date in Britain. Valentine's Day is on 14th of February. 9. Do you know when Halloween is? It's on the 31st of October. 10. When is Boxing Day? The 26th of December. 11. In Britain, autumn begins on the 23rd of September. 12. Hi, Linda. Do you know in Britain when the shortest day of the year is? Yes, it's on the 21st of December. Nope. It's on the 22nd of December. When does school start? Listen to the tape and tick the correct answer. 1. When does your mother arrive? Tuesday, 14th of May. 2. When are you going on holidays? The 25th of March. 3. When do the exams begin? The 21st of June. 4. When does school start? 5th of July. 5. When are you going to move into the new house? Next Monday, 8th of February. 6. When does the art museum open? I think it is on the 4th of September. 7. When are you leaving? 30th of April. 8. Here is an interesting date in Britain. Valentine's Day is on 14th of February. 9. Do you know when Halloween is? It's on the 31st of October. 10. When is Boxing Day? The 26th of December. 11. In Britain, autumn begins on the 23rd of September. 12. Hi, Linda. 
Do you know in Britain when the shortest day of the year is? Yes, it's on the 21st of December. Nope, it's on the 22nd.